My name is Brenda Achiro, uh, and I work with Water for People as the WASH Sustainability Manager. Water for People is a USA-based organization with operations in over five uh, districts in Uganda. And uh, we do both water and sanitation programs, particularly following sanitation as a business and water as a business approaches. Now, I want to welcome you to today's virtual field visit, where we are going to be appreciating improving sanitation using um, the Galpa as a pit emptying device. And I believe this perfectly fits in this year's Uganda Water and Environment Week objectives, one of which is aimed at promoting research and innovation on green appropriate technologies that promote sustainable management of our environment. Now, Water for People is working together with Kampala Capital City Authority, National Water, and Sewage Corporation and the Galpas Association of Uganda to promote sustainable pit emptying in unplanned settlements of, Kampa of Kampala to avoid groundwater contamination but also to ensure that, they are, that this sludge is safely deposited in the dumping bay. So I would like to invite you, welcome, as we go through this visit. Julian Musimi, working with KCCA, and I'm under the Directorate of Public Health as a program coordinator for private sector development and sanitation marketing in the city. As a mandate, KCCA was supposed to ensure that our people, the inhabitants of the city, are living in a habitable and sanitary environment. However, due to our limited resources, the budget may not be sufficient enough to, for us to be able to run the city as required. 60% of our population is actually residing in the informal settlements. And uh, in accessibility for the trucks, especially the cesspool trucks, is quite hard. Uh, some areas are unreachable by these trucks. As a result, you find that uh, people had actually resorted to uh, flying toilets. Since their toilets were full, they call for a truck or a service provider and they come and tell them, actually, my truck can't reach. The pipe I have is short. It cannot reach where you are. So emptying became a problem. Uh, we all know that in Kampala, most of the latrines are actually unlined and most people most, most people dig very deep pits making it very difficult for them to to empty so we came up with a technology the galpa technology that we developed together with the fabricators in katwe uh, we got the idea from london school of school of hygiene and then we're able to bring it down to Kampala. And this technology works perfectly well. And it can also make money for any youth out there or anybody who is interested in joining the pit emptying business. Uh, we are here at Precious Princess Junior School where a pit emptying operation or event is taking place. Uh, operators from VRA Sanitation are here to empty a septic tank for a school using the GALPA 4 technology. Uh, GALPA 4 technology is, the te is a technology that was developed by the Sunny Hub or the research arm of water for people with an aim of sorting most of the challenges that we are faced by the GALPA 1 and all the other subsequent GALPA technology series. Uh, initially, there were challenges with having to remove uh, the, the roof of the pit latrine due to the, the height of the Galpa 4, of the Galpa 1, which was kind of too long for most of the pit uh, latrines. It was exposing most of these Galpas to uh, direct contact with the fecal sludge. So with that in mind, and also with guidance from KCCA, the GALPA 4 technology came about. So the GALPA 4 technology 
is a kind of technology that can, you can empty a pit without necessarily being within the pit. You position the pump outside and then you are able to pump out the sludge through the, the, through the suction pipe uh, onto, the, onto the delivery pipe into the barrels. The GARPA 4 constitutes of uh, a delivery and a suction pipe. So the delivery pipe is the blue pipe you're seeing and then the suction pipe is this green reinforced pipe. It also constitutes of a PVC pump body which contains the piston. So for each forward and backward stroke, the pump is able to suck and deliver the septage into uh, a barrel, a receiving uh, tank, uh, a receiving barrel, which is then loaded onto a tricycle or any vehicle that is being used by the emptier from where, from, from where it goes to the dumping point, the Lubiji Fico Sludge Dumping Bay. When they arrive, they reverse and park at a given dumping point. We have three dumping points here. And they start to offload their Fico Sludge into the loading bay. And depending on which Fico Sludge, the, the quality, that's the thickness. We see how much we, we must dilute it, and then how much screening is needed. As you can see, this is too thick, and quite a lot of nanifical waste came along. So now this loading base has two purposes. One is to do the screening and the other is for dilution. So we initially had challenges when we were dumping at national water. It couldn't accompany our, it couldn't hold our fecal sludge because it was too thick and it had a lot of non fecal waste. So normally what we do here, we, we do dilution and we also do the screening. So in dilution we add a little bit of more water. As you can see it can't even flow out. It's really too thick. So we do the dilution and we do the screening from here so that it can be sucked out to the cesspool truck and it transported to the treatment plant. So the screening starts straight away and it, it mainly contains taking out the non fecal waste. Cleaning it up and taking it out. And dilution also takes place so that the non the Fecal sludge can flow into the retention, the fecal sludge retention tank. And actually, this is a pre-treatment for the fecal sludge that we bring. Initially, it wasn't accepted by National Water because it's too thick and it's really mixed up. It has a lot of non-fecal waste, so we must first take it off. Then we dilute it a bit, after which we can suck it out and take it to National Water. So after screening out the rubbish, we clean it properly and we put it at our temporal holding point. As you can see, it's really so much. This could be for two days, one or two days. So we load it. We first keep it here for a moment, after which we can put on this tray to be transported to the bigger collection point. We can now talk about licensing. Initially, if you don't have a licensed loading bay, fecal sludge loading bay, you can't ask for a license from NEMA, from KCCA. We are currently into the process of getting the KCCA license and the NEMA license. But before that, even our businesses are not the same. We don't waste a lot of time here. We have clients who call every day. And if you can't really serve them at the given time, they instead look for another service provider. So this loading bay saves our time and it enables us to work on more people you know, on, a day, on a daily basis. And then the dumping bay also provides an opportunity now for another business or even uh, employment for more women and, and men um, around Kampala. And then it's providing a service so that the MTRs don't face uh, challenges with their businesses. Mm -hmm. By before 2016, we used to have lots of cholera outbreaks. 
but as we now see, the emptying has been happening in the communities. And there is at least for the last, I don't know, I think two years, we haven't had a cholera outbreak. And that is attributed to, the, to this emptying that is taking place, the new technologies and innovations that we have taken down to the communities to ensure we support our, our people within the vulnerable uh, areas to do the emptying and to avert diseases and other pandemics or epidemics that may occur. If it works out so well, we should be able to share this with colleagues from National Water and Sewerage Corporation and other towns so that they always make, uh, they, they provide for the Galpa entrepreneurs. Because as we speak now, most of the treatment plants don't provide for thick sludge. We hope to provide a design that can be used in the sector to address the challenges, uh, which if you look at 70% of Uganda's population that depends on unlined pits. It will be a solution that will definitely make a difference. The future is very bright for the business because when you look at the projections of the population, Kampala will have about 12 million, only Kampala. And when you look at the 2.5 million people that we have now, who generate about 900,000 liters of fecal sludge on a daily basis. So all this quantity will have amplified then. So the business will must actually have grown as well. Must grow with a growing population. For the Galpa entrepreneurs, uh, we have many still coming on board. Others are new in the sector. So there's need for more of capacity building to these teams. Uh, not just by the institution, but other partners who can support these entrepreneurs to ensure that they're, they're, they're doing the, their, their, their jobs in the right way uh, in terms of occupational health and safety, how are they handling their clients. So there's still a lot of capacity building uh, to these teams that are going down to our communities so that this uh, technology is not shunned away by the communities but instead accepted so we call on different partners who are able to support uh, the the galpers to come on board and support them and to improve the business improve the the the, 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 the sector and also serving the communities that we are mandated to do as a city for all businesses to take place and uh, operate in the city we have to ensure that they are licensed. So licensing is a very crucial aspect when it comes to us as an institution and also to the National Environment Management Authority. So we are also supporting and pushing these private entrepreneurs to license their businesses so that they're able to get great opportunities out there. from the field visit. I hope you enjoyed it. I especially want to thank the organizers of the Uganda Water and Environment Water Week for giving us an opportunity to share this innovation. I would also want to thank National Water and Sewerage Corporation, Kampala Capital City Authority, and the Galpas Association of Uganda with whom we work. I hope you enjoyed it, and please have a great weekend. <laughs>